Hey Deck Crew, Liam here. Did you know you can extend the Steam Deck with various plugins? I'm going to show you how to do it and some of what's available using Decky Loader. And of course a link will be in the description. This is something I showed off briefly quite a while ago before it was called Decky Loader, so it's time to give it a fresh look. First of all, you need to press the Steam button and head into the System Settings. From here, you're going to turn on Developer Mode. This will give you a new system menu right at the bottom left where we're going to go in and turn on something called CEF Remote Debugging. Once that's done, jump into Desktop Mode and open the Console Terminal app. If you haven't set a desktop password yet, just enter in Pass WD and follow the instructions. It won't actually show you entering any characters as a security measure, but I assure you your text is being entered. Here I actually already have a current password, so you won't need that very first step to enter a current one. You just enter a new one, just follow the instructions. Once that's done, in console terminal you can just enter this command, taken directly from the Decky Loader instructions. Again, a link will be in the comments. Here is where it will ask you for that password. Again, it won't show it in the terminal when you're entering it, but it is happening. Once you've given that a second to download and install, you can boot back into gaming mode. And from here, the quick access menu, so the button on the right of the Steam Deck with the three dots, will have a new plugin button right at the bottom of the list. In here, you can ignore my two existing plugins. They're left over from a really old version of Decky Loader. Ignore them. What we're looking for is the top right here, which is a store button. When you go in there, you can actually browse, download and install plugins all directly built in. The first one that I'm going to show you is the CSS plugin to change your theme. There are quite a few different themes here with more being added all the time. But just like my desktop mode, I'm going to go with the original retro green steam theme. And once enabled from the quick access menu, you will then see that the entire deck UI has been changed over in all of its beautiful green glory. And I'm going to stick with this theme for the rest of this video. And I'll just jump around a bit just to show you all the beautiful greenness. But the next plugin that I want to show you is a lot more exciting. It's called Vibrant Deck. And honestly, I wasn't really convinced seeing others' videos on this to change things like the saturation. But doing it myself now, I was honestly shocked. It's pretty magical. I'm going to load up Kenna Bridge of Spirits as an example game. And then we're going to tweak Vibrant Deck to change the saturation up and down a few times. And honestly, I think the video will speak for itself on what an incredible change it actually is. The colours simply pop out of the screen. It is amazing. I'm not sure I can ever go back to having a normal Steam Deck screen after using this. Even adding only a small amount of saturation just makes the normal deck colouring look grey, dull and kind of lifeless in comparison. It is I simply insane. It's blown my mind what this can do for it. Another I'm going to show you is the Proton Database Badges plugin. While Valve has Deck Verified, the Proton Database website also has various crowdsourced reports on how games work across Linux Desktop and Steam Deck. It gives a rating from Broken to Bronze, Silver, Gold and Platinum. And it will also even show a Tux Linux icon if it has a native Linux release. This is just another simple way for you to see in your library what games you might expect to work well, even when Valve hasn't put a specific game through Deck Verified directly. It's simple and to the point, just giving you a badge in the top left corner when you view a game in your library. Just another handy tool to keep in the box and hopefully one you will find useful from me pointing it out enabling you to see at a glance whether you should install a game or not. The people behind Decky Loader and all of the plugins are doing some absolutely fantastic work. Make sure you go and have a look. As I showed you, it is really painlessly easy to install. And it looks amazing, right? Go check it out. A link is in the description.